for this evening. And may I say, it's such a nice thing to be able to do it live instead of yeah. on a little screen at home. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. We, lo we loved being able to connect with so many people around the world through virtual wars last year, but nothing can replace the thrill of being in a theater. And at this time, we would like to recognize all the students who participated in this year's Salt Lake City semifinal. Audience, please keep the applause rolling to show your appreciation of these beautiful dancers. And parents, this is the time to pull out your phones and cameras to capture your dancers' well-deserved bows. But they're not here. They're on the virtual screen. So please feel free to screenshot. Screen if you want record. To. <laughs> Any option. <laughs> All right. And now we'd like to begin. I'd like to welcome to the stage Alliance Academy of Dance. California. California Dance Theater, California. <laughs> Central Oregon School of Ballet, Oregon. Central Utah Ballet, Utah. Colorado School of Dance, Colorado. <laughs> Complexity Dance Center, New Jersey. Dance Impressions, Utah. Academy, California. Eagle Performing Arts Center, Center Idaho. El Paso Ballet Theater, Texas. Oh. Georgia School of Dance, California. Another independent, Alicia Hart from Hawaii. Let's welcome onto the stage independent, Harley Pangan, Hawaii. I think so. <laughs> we now have a 
another independent, Madison Nakamura, Hawaii. Another independent, Ryland Barber, Hawaii. Loving the 
LSU game. West Hawaii Dance Theater and Academy, Hawaii. West Point Ballet Academy, Utah. Sorry, Idaho. And Utah Dance Institute, Utah. like to ask all our for all our participants to stand up turn around and give a standing ovation to your teachers and your schools and also say wave to your parents on the live stream who have supported you and made it possible for you to be here do you want me to do that one too we would like to take this time to thank and introduce our judges for this year's Salt Lake City semifinal. And not all of them are currently here, so. But please still give a round of applause. Give a round of applause. <laughs> I'd like to introduce this to, the, to the stage Carlos Lopez, Director of Repertoire American Ballet Theater. Svetlana Osieva, leading faculty member of the Herod Conservatory and former dancer, dancer with the Marinsky Ballet. Okay. Beck Ann Sis, YAGP alumna, principal dancer, Ballet West. Oh. Yeah. yeah, come join us on stage. Please come join us. <laughs> Gennady Savaliev, Ballet Master, ABT Studio Company, co-founder, Youth America Grand Prix. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that, and then I'll introduce you. Okay. And last, but certainly not least, I would now like to introduce to you YAGP founder and artistic director, Larissa Savaliev. Savaliev. <laughs> <laughs> She. Yeah. Okay. And of course, I'd love to introduce my friend and co-host, Catherine Morgan, former soloist, New York City Ballet and Miami City Ballet, guest artist and master teacher. And Brittany O'Connor, uh, Andrea Bocelli, tour guest principal dancer, former soloist, Dresden Semper Opera Ballet. And... Um, we have one more judge who is probably the toughest judge there is, and he's particular about turnout. Um, we'd like to introduce Remy O'Connor. Come on, Remy. Basta. Come here. Is that? I mean, look at that face. He sat there the whole time on her <laughs> lap, never says a word, just sits oh. there. Oh, where are you going, bud? Come here. He wasn't done with his moment. You weren't. I'm sorry. Did I take away your moment? Okay. <laughs> Okay, we would like to say a special thank you to our sponsors whose support is essential in bringing you all the opportunities that YAGP creates for dancers everywhere. And they are Ballet Rosa, Beyond Tutus, Block, Dance Europe Magazine, Discount Dance, Flexi Stretcher, Harlequin, Nicolay, Russian Point, Sodanka, Sylvia, Vertice, and Dance Media, publishers of Dance Magazine, Dance Spirit, Dance Teacher, and Point Magazine. Bravo. Yes. Let's thank our sponsors. Absolutely. And now please join me in thanking the people without whom none of this would be happening. You all have no idea how hard they work. Those who create all the magic behind the scenes, the YAGP staff. Yes. <laughs> so.
So now, this season marks YAGP's 23rd year of helping young dancers across the globe achieve their dreams. Although the world around us is a bit different right now, what has remained absolutely the same is our commitment of delivering education and performance opportunities to talented young dancers worldwide. This year, you may notice more scholarship announcements at YAGP semifinals. Because of YAGP's extensive social media platforms and live streaming, this means that our scholarship presenters are able to tune in virtually to every YAGP regional competition and offer these talented young dancers scholarships to the leading dance schools in the US and abroad, in addition to YAGP's new summer intensive programs. And now, without further ado, it is my pleasure to announce the awards this evening with my Catherine. Thank you, darling. <laughs> we tried to bring the shoe game, too, by the yeah. way. All of you did, too. Beep. Oh, okay. that last group? Right? Yeah. Totally. Okay. Oh, we're going to switch computers now. <laughs> oh, Larissa. Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's Larissa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'd like to begin with the pre-competitive age division, ages 9 through 11 years old, women and men combined. We will now call onto the stage the pre-competitive dancers, ages 9 to 11, with the 12 highest scores in the contemporary dance category, women and men combined. When your name is called, please come up onto this stage and take your bow. The top 12 contemporary dance finalists are... Alexandra Valdez. <laughs> so if we could just hold the applause until everyone comes up on stage and then we have one big applause, that would be wonderful. Avery Mark, Mark, it, Evangeli Mark, Evangeli sorry. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm trying, we're trying, we're, try we're terrible with pronunciation. <laughs> I speak with my feet, clearly, not my voice. Evangeline Michelle. Hannah Driscoll. Isaac Garcia. Jersey Johnson. Kelsey Sukla. Molly Haney. Nicholas Artemis. Pilar Gamboa. Tiara Sherman. And Tova Tustin. One, no, great big round of applause. <laughs> Ann brought the shoe game, too. Yeah, she did. She totally did. I can't believe I got Larissa. It was in my head. Sibelia. Okay. Are you kidding me? It's just, we're, we're just roll with it. <laughs> we will now announce the dancers in the pre-competitive age division with the top 12 highest scores in the classical ballet category, women and men combined. Again, when your name is called on stage, is called please come up on stage and let's hold the applause till the end. It's more fun with a one big applause, right? Okay, I'd like to introduce to the stage the top 12 finalists. Alexandra Valdez. Charlotte Dennis. Evelyn Holt. Hoyt. Gracie Kemp. Hannah Driscoll. Harper Scott. Luca Mishenko. Mia Mortensen. Molly Heine. Pepper Christensen. Pilar Gamboa. And Tiara Sherman. Bravo. standing in the contemporary line and my voice, please just take a step forward to, to meet the first line. Yes, if you're already up here, please step yeah. forward. So if you heard your name classical, come and step up. There you go. And while, while they're doing this, I just want to congratulate especially all the dancers in the pre-competitive age division. I think what you guys do at your age is incredible. So bravo, you guys. I Absolute, could not have done Absolutely. It. I mean to get up on that stage oh, in front yeah. of a crowd. No. No. <laughs> I'd get stage right. Nine. Right. <laughs> okay. And now we'd like to introduce the winners in the pre-competitive age division contemporary dance category. When your name is called, please take another great big step to the front and take a great big bow. It's your moment. In third place, we have Alexandra Valdez. <laughs> Take a great big bow, sweetie. Big bow. Whee! There you go. Second place, Nicholas Artemis. And in first place for pre-competitive contemporary, we have Tiara Sherman. Yeah. Congrat congratulations, you guys can take a step back to join the other dancers. 
So now we have the winners in the pre-competitive age division classical ballet category. For third place, Mai Mortensen. She and I here. Take a great big step forward. Are we missing her? Mai Mortensen. Go, Brittany. I need the bow for her. <laughs> Remy, we Please. need you. Yeah, okay. Remy will take the bow. So. <laughs> and second place, we have Hannah Driscoll. Yes, good girl. And in first place for the classical ballet category, we have Luka Mischenko. Did you take your bow? Okay, good. Take another one, I missed it. Bravo. Okay. Now, we have one more award in the pre-competitive age division, which goes to the dancer who has excelled in both the contemporary dance and classical ballet categories. And the HOPE Award goes to... Pilar Gamboa. Congratulations once again, dancers. Honestly, it's beautiful and just amazing how you guys can get up on that stage and perform the way you do. Seriously, really, honestly, bravo, all of you. Yes, Please return to your again. seats. Please return to your seats, Bravo. Go. Just go back to your seats. You can go back go to your seats. Go rest those legs. You've been dancing all weekend. Okay. okay. Our next category we'd like to introduce up here is ensembles. Now, we'd like to introduce the top three winners in the ensemble category. Do we want them all? Yes, please have a representative come up onto the stage. Yes. And this is a little bit different because in third place, we have Alliance Academy of Dance for All Ensembles. Woo! Yeah! to announce the second place goes to Utah Dance Artist for All. Do we have a representative? Oh, there she is. Me, me, me. Yeah, there's no stairs up. Yeah, there isn't. Oh, okay. Oh. We'll be mindful well, of that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we'll take our time. Ding, 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 ding. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, come on out. And in first place, we have Jacqueline School of Ballet for All Ensembles. to announce one more time with a big round of applause these three schools that really brought their aim like everyone else so I'd like to reiterate Alliance Academy of Dance Utah Dance Artists and Jacqueline School of Ballet bravo please return to your seats dancers very good
The next category we'd like to introduce is the Pas de Deux. We would like to announce the top three winners in the Pas de Deux category. So please come up on the stage when you hear your Pas de Deux is called. For third place, we have Giselle Pas de Deux, Mia Anastasia Pekovic, and Simon Plant. Oh yeah, maybe it was, oh. Take your runway moment in the front. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Why not? Why not? We got all oh, dressed nice. up. Hey. That, I, that's one thing I love about awards. It's like a fashion show. Absolutely. For, like everybody dresses up. It's like a thing. Oh, yeah. You go out. The stage is totally. your runway. Through the audience, I'm getting ideas. Yeah. Oh, good oh, job, good. Simon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's yes. how you lead her out. Yes, Simon. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to announce second place goes to the Flames of Paris, Pas de Deux, Ad Andalyn Jepsen and Carson Willie. Oh, Carson yeah, there did it too. Go. Good job. We're learning. I love it. Did you guys bow? Yeah, great big bow. <laughs> and in first place for Potida, we have La Esmeralda, Potida, Callie Herbert, and Solomon Fishman. Oh, they went the right way. Yeah. <laughs> Are you coming back, Rem? Are you going into your cubby hole? No. <laughs> Let's do one big round of applause for these three couples. Congratulations, Congratulations. dancers. Yes. You may return to your seats. Yeah, you guys may return. You guys, it's been a long weekend of dancing. Rest of those legs. Take the shoes off. But absolutely. <laughs> okay. We will now announce the awards in the junior age division for dancers 12 to 14 years old. We will first announce the top 24 performers in the junior age division, classical ballet category, women and men combined. When your name is called, please just stand up in your seat so that we can acknowledge where you are. And once again, please hold your applause so they can hear, yes. mostly so they can hear their names. Annabelle Jackman. Blakely Bell. Channing Dennis. Claire Ansel. Daniela Gavanovich Haken. Dylan Gaddis. El Kelson. Emery Tuhi. Hannah Anderson. Isabella Huertas. Isabella Kesey. Isabel Walsh. Jordan Gorley. Josephine Hatton. Juliana Hatton. Kennedy Nelson. Madison Miller. Mercedes Stout. Olivia Humanik. Raya Stoddard. Sarah Savage. Sophia Alonzo. Sophia Gladkov. Stasha Karolina Petkovic. Congratulations, dancers, and one big round of applause. And wait, you turn, around, turn and around and wait, because we have a whole audience watching virtually. All righty. We will now call on to the stage the dancers with the top 12 highest scores in the junior age division contemporary dance category, women and men combined. And when your name is called, please come up to the stage. And again, just hold the audience until everyone, or sorry, hold the applause until everyone comes up onto the stage. The top 12 contemporary dance finalists are Blakely Bell, Dylan Gaddis, Ellie Kelson, Eva LeBlanc, Gigi Hipwell, Haley Norrit, Isabella Kesey, Juliana Hatton, Lila Briggs, Sarah Savage, Sophia Alonzo. And now one big applause. Please come up to the stage. Sorry, where are we? Sorry. Now we will call into the stage the dancers with the top 12 highest scores in the junior age division classical ballet category, women and men combined. When your name is called, please come on onto the stage or step forward if you are already here. And the top 12 classical ballet finalists are 
Annabelle Jackman, Blakely Bell, Channing Dennis, Clara Ansel, Daniela Giovanovic Haken, Dylan Gaddis, Isabel Walt, Jordan Gorley, Juliana Hatton, Madison Miller, Sarah Savage, Sophia Gladkov. And yay! in the junior age division contemporary dance category women and men combined the winners are and when you hear your name take one big step forward and a bow third place goes to Gigi Hipwell no 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 all the way up show come please all the way forward so we can see that beautiful bow and your beautiful outfit And in second place, we have Blakely Bell. You might have to bow again. <laughs> I'll take my moment. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and first place goes to Sarah Savage. Oh. I love just the surprise. I know, it's adorable. Please. <laughs> In the junior age division, classical ballet category, women and men combined, the winners are third place, Sarah Savage. Second place, Channing Dennis. And first place goes to Juliana Haddon. We have one more award to present in the junior age division. This award goes to the dancer who has excelled in both the contemporary dance and classical ballet categories. The Youth Grand Prix Award goes to Dylan Gaddis. Yeah, I think I maybe said. you <laughs> Take him out. Yeah, go. You want to ask a question? No, no. I can. I Dylan, think there's a question we want to ask. How are you feeling? I'm I, I can't even believe it. I'm so excited. So excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How long have you been dancing? Uh, about eight years. Wow. Well, congratulations. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations, dancers. You may return to your seat. You rest those legs. All righty. I would also forward. like to point out that Remy is asleep in the podium. He found really his little cute. cubby hole. <laughs> So now we'd like to introduce Senior Age Division Women and Men Combined. The awards in the Senior Age Division for dancers 15 to 20 years old. We have continued to include 20 year old dancers in this age division as 19 year old dancers had limited audition opportunities in the last season. Thank you, COVID. <laughs> we will first announce the top 24 performers in the Senior Age Division Classical Ballet category, Women and Men Combined. When your name is called, please stand up in your seat so we can acknowledge you where you are. And audience, once again, please hold your applause. The top 24 in the classical category are Abigail, Abigail Warrick, Alexandra Hoffman, Andalyn Jepson, Annalie Britton, Callie Herbert, Colette Radstone, Courtney Philbach, Eliana Smith, Grace Friedley, Hallie Jo Johnson, Jared Cordova, Jenna Potvin, Jessica Chug, Juliana Wilder, Kaya Jones, Leilani Smith, Lily Stephenson, Mia Anastasia Pekovic, Mia Schlosser, Rose Brunson, Simon Plante, Solomon Fishman, Sydney Lee, and Tegan Chu. One big applause. And turn to the camera and wave so everyone can see you. Yeah, wave to the live stream. camera. We have a whole audience out there. <laughs> Thank you, dancers. And we will now call onto the stage the dancers with the top 12 highest scores in the senior age division contemporary dance category, women and men combined. 
When your name is called, please come up to the stage. And the top 12 contemporary dance finalists are Caroline Scrabble, Grace Friedley, Hallie Jo Johnson, Isabel Harris, Jenna Potvin, Jordan Christensen, Juliana Wilder, Lila Rose Yellen, Mia Anastasia Pekovic, Sierra Willis, Sydney Lee, Tegan Chow. Now we will call onto the stage the dancers with the top 12 highest scores in the senior age division classical ballet category, women and men combined. When your name is called, please step onto the stage or step forward if you're already here. The top 12 classical ballet finalists are Alexandra Hoffman, Hallie Jo Johnson, Jenna Potvin, Jessica Chug, Juliana Wilder, Leilani Smith, Lily Stevenson, Mia Anastasia Pekovic, Mia Schlosser, Simon Plant, Sydney Lee, and Tegan Chu. And in the senior age division, contemporary dance category, women and men combined, the winners are, we have a tie for third place, Tegan Chow and Haley Jo Johnson. In, take a bow. Oh, take a bow. There you go. <laughs> in second place, we have Isabel Harris. And in first place, we have Jenna Potvin. In the senior age division, classical ballet category, women and men combined, the winners are, third place, Mia Anastasia Petrovich. Did you take your bow? She did. Oh, okay. she did. Good girl. Second place, Alexandra Hoffman. And in first place, Lily Stevenson. And now, we have one more award to present in the senior age division. This award goes to the dancer who excelled in both the contemporary dance and classical ballet category. So this year's Grand Prix award goes to Juliana Wilder. Should I ask a question or not? Oh. oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a question. We're gonna ask you questions as well. My sweet girl. So do you mind telling us how many years you've been dancing? Five years. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Five years? Five years? That's incredible. Congratulations. I mean, the discipline and like the motivation you must have internally for it. So I would say it's safe to say you love it, right? Safe to say. Safe to say. Okay, congratulations. You. Dancers, you may return to your seats. Bravo. Very good. <laughs> just standing there. And last but certainly not least, we would like to announce a very special group of awards. We have two outstanding teacher awards, so please come up when you hear your name called. Magali Suarez. <laughs> and the faculty of Ballet West Academy. And as they're coming
coming up, we're going to go ahead and announce the Outstanding Choreographer Award, which we have two. So I'd like to introduce to the stage Sayoko Node and Barry Guns. And for our Outstanding School, we have Jacqueline School of Ballet. We'll go ask this to you. So I'm going to come talk to all of you. So tell me, what, what about your students inspires you? Um, they're amazing. They're hardworking students. They are very dedicated. And that's all I want. That's fantastic. Congratulations. And to both of you, I might know one of you rather well. <laughs> um, but, so tell me, what happened through COVID? Did your students keep going? Did, did you have online classes? Like, what has been the toughest part through this thing? Okay. Oh, we, they're, the students have been amazing, right? We had tough protocols at Ballet West Academy, and we, uh, there was a lot of work. And actually, they take part, and they volunteer, and they screen themselves, and keep their masks on, and uh, do, their, do their work in the studio. Um, very, very proud of those guys. And, and the only way we could have done anything in the last two years and improved the way you did was the hard work that you put in and, and uh, doing everything we need to do to keep dancing. So congratulations. And we love you. Yes. <laughs> so I'm assuming you all are the dancer. You're the dancer in the piece. Yes, so tell me about this piece. What about it inspired you, and who is your choreographer? Uh, Sayoko Node is my choreographer, and she's not here right now, but she always encourages us to try new things, to get out of our comfort zone, and to just have fun and really enjoy what you're dancing. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. And tell me about your piece as well. Um, our choreographer was Barry Gaines, and he just continually pushed himself throughout the the process and so it inspired us to want to push ourselves. Fantastic. And of course Jacqueline School of Ballet. Tell me about your students. What about them inspires you? Oh, I love that they come every day just ready to work. They have such a good work ethic and um, they love each other and I love that about them. That's amazing. That's super important is supporting yes. each other through all of this. Well congratulations all of you. Fantastic. I'd like to touch base with what Chris said. It's been a really tough two years, you guys. So, you know, we are all so proud of you here for really pushing through these two years, staying in shape, really dancing through this two-year COVID in your living room. I don't envy at all what you guys had to go through. And so I want you guys to really take a moment and understand like what you guys have accomplished and as well congratulate yourself because that has to have been one of the most difficult two years in the history. Oh absolutely and they, you guys are at a, such a critical point in your training and look what you're still able to do even with dancing at home. Honestly it's phenomenal. It I was really so is. taken aback on this YGP tour circuit yes. of how you dancers have somehow figured out how to continue to strengthen, focus on the details, and then come up here on stage as if you guys didn't miss a beat. So congratulations to yourselves and never forget what you guys had to go through and be proud of yourselves because we're so proud of you guys as well. You, you did the did hard it. work. You, you did, did it. it. No yep. one else. You guys did it. So give yourself Bravo. a round of applause. So this concludes our award ceremony this evening. We hope you all have enjoyed your YAGP experience and we look forward to seeing you again. And before we let you go, I'd like to remind you of something that we all here at YAGP really believe. Regardless of the placement or the awards, the only competition that truly matters is the competition with yourself. So as long as you continue dancing, you continue being a winner. And with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah, good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we wheel Remy away. Bye, Ren. Bye, Ren.